In order to perform the reconstructions of developing organs within the Drosophila melanogaster, we need to determine the forward model that best describes propagation of light within the pupa itself. The procedure begins with selecting a white prepupa and gluing it at the end of a capillary tube such that the pupa's anterior posterior axis is oriented parallel to the tube. A small capillary tube is filled with some fluorescent dye and inserted in the pupal case. After careful axis adjusting, the pupa is rotated 360 degrees. Images are acquired at different angles. The acquired fluorescent transillumination data are used to determine the forward model that will be used to image organ development. Hi, my name is Claudio Vinegoni and I'm at the Center for Systems Biology at uh, Massachusetts General Hospital, Harvard Medical School. I'm Grisula Pizzulli from the Perlman Lab in Harvard Medical School. And I'm Daniel Rosansky from the Institute for Biological and Medical Imaging at the Technical University of Munich and Hellemann Center Munich. Today we will show you a procedure for three-dimensional reconstruction of whole body in Drosophila melanogaster. We use this procedure in our lab for in vivo visualization of developing drosophila organs during pupal status. So let's get started. Before beginning, please note that there is an accompanying video that should be viewed prior to this one, where some technical aspects of optical projection tomography are explained in greater detail than they are here. In addition, the other video explains imaging of prepared tissues or organs of larger animals. For all the experiments covered in this video, four